welcome back again to my channel. I feel like this is like the travel series that I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you all of the different things that you can do at the Dubai International Airport if you are here for a layover, hopefully on an Emirates flight. They are my travel partner for this trip. Um, it is like 11.30 p.m. in Dubai right now, so the airport is pretty quiet, but a lot of things are still open. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of different options of things that you can do at the Dubai airport. Um, of course, one of them is to stay at the Emirates Lounge. So there is a huge duty-free section and one of the most, I just took my mask off. <laughs> one of the most, um, one of the coolest things is that like all of these things are still open. It's, nighttime but because this is such a big airport and people transit through it so frequently they keep a lot of the shops and restaurants etc open um so maybe we'll do some browsing maybe we will i don't know what we'll do let's see so there's actually a hotel within the airport which is really convenient in case you just want to take some time and um, stay in a hotel like if you have like a six or eight or I don't know 24 hour layover you don't feel like going into the actual city you can stay in the Dubai International Hotel that's right here in the airport Ooh, little Starbucks never hurt anybody if you are not flying Emirates business class you can always check out an express bra <laughs> express spa and get a manicure massage a pedicure, a facial, you know, get your hair done. There are a lot of express spas at different airports around the world, so it's nice there's also one here in Dubai. So there's actually a full-on H&M though in the airport which is makes it really feel like a mall but if you like to shop at H&M you need some clothes extra clothes for your trip and this one's still open I see people inside so yeah you can go to H&M and they have ladies kids and men Nutella. oh my gosh I love Nutella Kids corner. Oh, adorable. Our kid is asleep right now. I don't know if you can see. He's knocked out, so. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Definitely taking a photo here. If you know me, you know that I actually am obsessed with Nutella, so I could not <laughs> resist coming into the Nutella. Oh, they have a chocolate croissant. My heart. Oh, that's it for me. I know what I want. A Nutella croissant. croissant. <laughs> I love, I love chocolate croissants so much, and Nutella is just oh, my heart right now. I'm so happy. Mm. So good. Mm. Yeah. Pro tip. Order a cafe latte somewhere and ask them to add Nutella. Happiness, get into that. Get into that gorgeousness. That's some your donut, babe. Is it nice? I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Continuing on our tour of what to do in the Dubai airport after finishing our Nutella. So this candy, delicious, Playland. It's perfect for little kids if you give your kids candy. We don't give ours candy because he's not all the best, but if you do give kids candy, that's a cute little place. So here are some of the shops and restaurants. KFC's everywhere. In case you wanted American food, it exists. But if you wanted other stuff, ooh, haagen -Dazs. We already went to Nutella. Um, so yeah, tons of places to eat in the airport. And then there's like 
Bath and Body Works in case you need some new creams or something. I just love these little random shops like in the middle of the airport. So this is here. There's also another spot over there, the Be Relax Spa, if you want a massage or nails. Ooh. And then Victoria's Secrets on that side. There's a Boots Pharmacy. Tons of places to go shopping and pick up some stuff for yourself or for a loved one if you want to pick up some gifts. Hey, let's go in the photo booth. Let's do, oh, it's out of order. That's so sad. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, I was so excited too. More shopping. This is like the athletic section. So if you like Adidas, actually, no, okay. I was gonna look at the um, the NMDs. Those look nice. Or if you're a Nike person, that's also available. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is cute. The daily, the daily dish. That's a cute name for a little spot. Urban street food. It looks like a little food court. Oh, what is a little food court? Cute. Uh, it's really just the aesthetics and the vibes for me. Love it. Poke bowls, super cute. This little area is cool because it's, it kind of like reminds me of a park. Like as if you like went into a drive-in park and were watching like a drive-in movie. Um, that's really cool. I like how they did this layout. So it's, you know, it's still just a, an area to wait, but at least it's a little bit more comfortable than if you were just sitting in the typical airport chairs. So. This is by gate B28. B28. Tons of people are chilling here and resting before their flights. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. <laughs> what do you have to say? What's your little speech? Welcome to this wonderful YouTube channel. <laughs> where we explore travel, lifestyle, beauty, and a lot of educational content. <laughs> oh God. So we are back in the Emirates Business Lounge. Hope that you enjoyed this little video of a lot of the different things to do in the Dubai International Airport. We actually only explored Terminal 3. So I didn't have the energy to go to Terminals 1 or 2 um, and mostly around the B gates. So I'm sure there is a lot more to do at the A gates and C gates in Terminal 3 as well as in Terminals 1 and 2. But y'all are going to have to investigate those for yourself because we didn't have time to go and check out those areas. So back to the business lounge, going to grab a bite to eat and luckily this one is still knocked out <laughs> and so we'll see if we can get some time for ourselves before our next leg of our flight. So yeah, thanks so much for watching.